All right, has something like this ever happened to your porch? Looks like some minor cosmetic damage, if you ask me. But don't worry, we can undo it. How to undo with Mike Montgomery. That's me. Look, there are a lot of reasons concrete can get cracked or damaged. It can expand and contract with heat and moisture, or the ground underneath can shift, settle, or just wash out. And just so you know, if the damage is structural, like in the foundation of your home, it's time to call a pro. For small cosmetic flaws like paw prints, a tub of concrete repair patch works great. And for cracks, you'll need a tube of self-leveling concrete sealant. You're also gonna want a wet rag, a trowel or flexible putty knife, a rub brick, and don't forget the safety gear. Before you start, make sure the area is clean. That way the concrete bonds well. Next, you'll squeeze the tube of self-leveling sealant into the crack, like this. And while we give that time to cure, let's take care of these paw prints. I'm gonna be using this flexible putty knife because the prints aren't too large. But if you've got a bigger repair, you can use a trowel like this. Then, after it's dry, you'll use a rub brick to smooth everything out. This is basically like sandpaper for concrete. And now you're good to go. But let's say you've got a broken stair leading up to your door. Maybe a piano fell on it or something else. Well, since this is a heavier duty job than just patching a few paw prints, we're gonna be using rapid setting concrete instead of ready-made patching compound. For this, you'll also want a bucket, a trowel, some wood and screws, an impact driver, a drill with a mixing attachment, your concrete, bonding primer, and acrylic fortifier. Now let's get started. We're gonna screw two pieces of wood together to create a mold that matches our corner. The third piece is a leg to hold the mold up. You could also use a stake and drive that into the ground. Time for concrete, and we've got a couple of different options to choose from. If the damaged area is less than one inch deep, then you're gonna wanna mix in some acrylic fortifier to your concrete mix. But if that damaged area is between one and two inches deep, like our corner, you'll wanna paint on some bonding primer to obviously help it bond. And while that's drying, we mix. You're gonna add water little by little, mixing it up as you go. And we're looking for the consistency of thick pancake batter. But be sure not to eat it. You don't want this to be too runny, otherwise it'll spill out of the form. Now I'm putting my concrete into the wooden mold with a trowel. And while it's drying, I can shape it to match the stair. Our fix will harden in about 20 minutes, but I'm gonna keep it dry for about 24 hours while it cures. It worked! And now that you know how to wrangle different types of concrete, the possibilities are endless. Oh no. Just watch where you step. Anyways, be sure to click here or here for more episodes of How to Undo. To shop this full project, check the link to the guide in the description below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time Ugh. on How to Undo. Bye, everybody. What a mess.